Are you prepared? That's the question of this video. Hello and welcome to Shelly's Everyday Adventures. I'm Shelly and I'm happy that you're here with me today. Um, it took me a couple tries to get this video out. Um, I kept getting interrupted, but the question of this video is, are you prepared? Um, I was in Florida visiting my sister when Hurricane Helene was, when it hit. She is about an hour off of the coast, the Gulf Coast. So she's in the center of Florida, but kind of, well, center, she's an hour either way to, um, to the Atlantic or to the, uh, maybe a little over an hour or to the Gulf. When she, when it came in, she got a little wind and some rain. Well, a little wind compared to Florida. Um, they always get wind and rain. It's very rainy there in certain seasons. So I asked her, do you have enough water? And the reply was, no, I need to go get some water. Now the hurricane hit on Thursday. Um, this was Tuesday night. I said, you probably should have already had the water being as um, a hurricane's coming and this is Florida. Well, she's only been a Floridian since 2020. And, uh, but she's been through Hurricane Ian. I was down there with her. So we go to Sam's Club on uh, Tuesday night. And of course they had no water. So she had to work the next day, which was Wednesday. She's a school teacher. She had off Thursday and Friday. So Wednesday, when she came home from school, she had two cases of water that she had picked up at a pharmacy. The pharmacy um, that's near her had uh, some water, but she paid twice as much for it. So my question to you is, are you prepared? Um, pretty sure that the people in Tennessee uh, they are by nature a prepared community, but Tennessee, North Carolina, and South Carolina got hit so heavy that um, they were displaced. A lot of them were displaced from their homes. So they didn't, even if they were prepared, they had to leave their homes and their preps were most likely uh, destroyed. I have a relative who lives um, in a little place called Traveler's Rest, which is about an hour south of Asheville. And as of the filming of this video, um, I believe Asheville is still inaccessible by roads. Now they might be able to get in there now. I don't, I, I'm not sure. But Asheville was pretty much destroyed. I've been to Asheville, it's a beautiful place. Um, and it's sad. But um, also Traveler's Rest was hit and that's in South Carolina. And Greenville, I just read that Greenville, South Carolina is still without power over this. So there's a lot of places and Tennessee was hit really, really hard. So my question to you is, are you prepared? Are you ready for natural disasters? Are you, do you have a bug out bag or something that you can grab and take with you if you need to go? Um, a lot of people don't think about this and they wouldn't think about it necessarily in Tennessee and parts of North and South Carolina that, that where this hurricane actually hit. So it's not a common, a common occurrence there. So you gotta start thinking outside the box. Yes, I did a video, video the other day saying I was giving up giving advice. I know this is, this is advice. I must advise you to please prepare for disasters. Um, we made it through with my sisters. It didn't get, it just got, we just got some rain. We got some heavy winds. Uh, we didn't mm -hmm. lose power. So we made out fine, but we were towards the center of Florida. Now the coast got hit harder. And then of course it hit Tallahassee. So, and came up through there. Now there are three more hurricanes out in the um, Atlantic that are gearing up and they look to hit Florida, at least one of them looks to hit Florida, maybe head on where my sister lives. So I told her when I left, I left Saturday night um, that she needed to get prepared. I hope that she listens. Most people don't take advice. They do what they want. Um, I know that she's busy. I know that they, there's a lot of things going on in her life, but you gotta take the time to slow down and Think about things that could happen and get prepared. I hope everyone 
in Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida. I haven't heard a whole lot about Kentucky. Um, my brother-in-law's in Kentucky. I need to call him and see how that is going on with him. I did see someone from his area post that um, if they needed services, emergency services that weren't 911 worthy, that they needed to call this number and she gave out a number. So everybody seems to be pulling together in these areas to help each other out. Um, I will be keeping up with things that are going on and I'll let you know um, how it is in South Carolina where my relative is and in Kentucky when I find out what's going on there. Uh, and then we have this terrible chemical fire in Georgia. So are you, are you ready to leave your house? Are you ready to seal up your house? These are things you need to think about and I hope everybody is thinking about them because this just goes to show that no matter where you're at, terrible things can happen. You need to know what's around you. You need to know how to prepare for what might happen. We have a, um, where I'm at, we have a um, atomic energy, a nuclear energy power station here. And we make sure that um, our sirens are working. We make sure that we have on hand the potassium iodide and things like that. So what are you doing to prepare? I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I put out a video earlier today about Legoland. I meant to put it out yesterday, but then I saw that there was a copyright issue. I took a look at it and it just said that uh, the song that I used, which was through a um, editing software, was copyright, but that I was okay. This wasn't a strike and I was okay to use it. So it's up. Um, you can check it out. I hope everyone has a great day. Thank you.